Now, I know we live in the day and age of the superstar athlete who makes millions upon millions of dollars, who can just get whatever they want, do whatever they want, and force their way here, there, give me a trade, I'm not happy here, I'm going to pretend I'm unhappy. You just saw it with James Harden forcing his way out of Houston, getting his way to Brooklyn to play with his buddies, right? And it works in the NBA. It's been going on since the 70s. I mean, hell, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar forced his way out of Milwaukee to get to the Lakers. People don't really talk about that, but that happened. Fine, whatever. But it's not supposed to happen. At least it doesn't normally happen in the NFL. But the superstar athletes, especially the quarterbacks, were the faces of the franchise, now making 40-plus nearly $50 million per year on these ridiculous contracts can essentially do whatever the hell they want. And that's where we're going to spend our time today on the Drives with Dave podcast right here, found anywhere you find podcasts, as well as on the Dave Talk Sports YouTube channel. While you're watching, please like, comment, subscribe, do what you got to do for me below the video. I appreciate it. Now, With the Packers' loss, and we talked about this yesterday in the NFC Championship, you have Aaron Rodgers all over the news. His post-game comments making waves, not just in Green Bay, not just throughout the entire state of Wisconsin, but throughout the United States of America. I mean, to think that Aaron Rodgers, with multiple years left on his contract, is going to somehow now force his way out of Green Bay after he's about to win an MVP award. Listen, I know the franchise didn't give him any help. I know they didn't draft weapons for him. They drafted, actually, his potential future replacement in Jordan Love in the first round of the NFL draft, which was asinine, and everybody knows that. But that doesn't mean that Aaron Rodgers is about to force his way out of town. Yes, he sounds dejected. Yes, he sounds like he wants to go cry in a corner, but Aaron Rodgers is not going to retire. He's not going to sit out, and he's not going to force his hand and force his way out of Green Bay. Trust me. Just sit back, relax, and enjoy a couple more years of Aaron Rodgers in green and gold. Now, the guy who is probably going to force his way out of town, Deshaun Watson from Houston. That's right, Houston. You're probably going to lose James Harden and Deshaun Watson in the span of two months. Deshaun Watson is not going about it the way that James Harden did, though. Just torching his teammates. He's doing it very kind of coy, very quietly. You know, he's already said, yeah, I, 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 want, I want out, okay? You guys aren't hiring the GM that I want. You guys aren't considering the head coaches that I want. I am your franchise quarterback, a top five quarterback in the NFL, and you guys don't give a rat's ass about what I want. I'm a bona fide superstar, and you guys don't give a crap. So yeah, get me out of here. But he's not doing it out in the public eye. He's not just lighting a torch underneath the franchise and saying, wait till this gets hot enough that you got to trade me. And I think that's what's coming. I think Deshaun Watson is not that type of guy. He's not a James Harden type of guy. Obviously, I don't know him. I'm just speculating. But there's a reason why he hasn't just gone yeah, AWOL like Kyrie Irving or torched his entire organization like James Harden. There's a reason why that hasn't happened yet. But, allegedly, he either wants to play for the Dolphins or the Jets. Now, the Dolphins can offer a first-round pick in Tua, but the Jets can offer multiple first-round picks in Sam Darnold. And hopefully, if Deshaun Watson ends up wearing gangrene, oh, oh, finally have a quarterback. Finally would have a quarterback that I could bring home to mom. Oh, that would be the day. Oh, that would be fantastic. And that we're going to talk about tomorrow on the Drives with Dave podcast, found anywhere you find podcasts and on the Dave Talk Sports YouTube channel. The prospects of having Deshaun Watson under center in gangrene for the New York Football Jets. You have to wait till tomorrow for that, though. On that note, 
See ya.